What's happening in the Shed Podcast? Podcast that brings everything from music, sports, religion, politics to happy slapping. Myself, Dixie, Daniel, Fred, and Denzel's back here as well, bro. Right? <laughs> We've been quiet because G's had a month off for his birthday. Yeah? Like if, Jesus, bro. Also, I nearly got us kicked out of the studio. I had to sort it out, smooth it out. Though. You should but, put the clip in, I'll be honest. What? I don't know if we're allowed to, <laughs> right? <laughs> so there's a lot. There's a lot. So we ain't we ain't done this in a year, have we? This year we ain't done this, have we? What man the one? No, no. we ain't done a man the no, one in a year. No. First one. Where do we even start, bro? Because I've got Kurt Zuma, I got Will Smith, I got Dubai people shitting up people's chests and sucking off Alsatians. <laughs> bro, where do we start? Start with a shot, man. Huh? Start with a shot. We will start with a shot. Also, G. This is my birthday today, yeah? Oh, yeah. And listen, listen, we didn't have to have four weeks off for it. We can just record, bruv, yeah? Let's do it. You can do some light tree, bruv. Let's do it. <laughs> no, for, the, for the people that think I drink, I can't do it in one. I want to start a Kurt Zuma. Kurt Zuma. What, kicking the, kicking kicking the cat? Kicking the cat out of the bollocks, bruv. I think, I think it's bullshit. <laughs> no, what do you mean it's what? bullshit? Let me tell you why. Video, no, no, no. Let me tell you why. Go on. How, how, how are you getting a, was it 250 round fan and and people are calling each other um what's it called nigger on that on the football pitch and then he's they're, right they're not getting there's way more important things yeah, on, yeah 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 that's I hear mad, that. that same week I phil Foden's mum got knocked out of oh, boxing yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no that's one mad. said a word bro that's mad. wait what was he he's got a fine 250 250 bag so he's paid his he's paid and then what happened where's the cat they still want to do his... no they took the cat see if, <laughs> if i was the cat i'd be fucking fuming you know why I'd be fuming? <laughs> listen, listen. A... I was living with a millionaire Premiership footballer. <laughs> now I'm in the cat equivalent of a hostel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'm banged up. Yeah. Like some broke boy cat. Yeah. When I was living, <laughs> bruv. Oh, all he did was kick him up the bollocks, bro. No, he backed you know the, the kick cat, was, The kick was mad. Kirk, he that, what, a, what, a, what, a, what a real kick. That's Kirk, mad. I would let Kirk Zuma kick me out the bollocks if I could live with him rent free. <laughs> All day long, bro. You know what the thing is? It wasn't like it was a rubber kick. It was like a, oh, like a roll off the shin off the foot. And we like, know we know cats are sneaky little pricks. Yeah. You don't know what happened. No, there, bro. <laughs> Two sides to every story, <laughs> bro. You know, no, what? I was always got black. His brother, what a dickhead. What are you doing recording that? You know, I don't matter, but it makes it worse. Why but do you things get, that things get leaked every single day. Yeah, People, yeah. stop recording yeah, your yeah. famous yeah. friends and family. Yeah, stop doing, doing it. Doing stuff like... They know... He knew when he was uploading that what was going to happen. Surely, bro. You're not dumb. I know someone, yeah, that works as an editor for a newspaper, yeah? And he says to me, yo, no, you don't realise the shit that we get sent in about animals and cats and that, bro, yeah? People like Chris Kirkland. Remember Chris Kirkland? Deadest goalkeeper to ever play in the Premiership. Bro, oh, Chris Kirkland out here giving it large and that, bro. Fuck off, bro. Well, in the same week, like, someone died the same day. Someone got stabbed the same day. As yeah, it. yeah. Oh, fuck your cat, bro. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, it shouldn't have had the headlines it got, innit? I'm not going to lie. It was a bit... It was wrong, but the guy just shouldn't be able to have pets no more. That's it. No, it is. There should be nothing. What it is, is, yeah, it's an insight into them man's life and it's very tap behaviour to do things like that. But then again, we know people who have been in jail for killing cats. Yeah, it's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. We do. I forgot yeah. about that, yeah. We do, yeah. Crazy. And, and he didn't deserve that. When did... The situation, when you it, hear the situation... It, 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 let's not get into the specific situation. <laughs> but when did... When did when did people care about cats? Remember the show Don't Fuck With Cats? No, oh, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah. People love cats, you know? Yeah, yeah. Cats, can f- cats get more views on YouTube farting than we do on our podcast. A lot more as well. Millions of views. That's cats. Mad. Bro. That's mad. I've seen something else about cats as well. He puts them behind them or something like that. And they jump every time. Pickles. They pickles. <laughs> so, so they're just yeah, wet. Yeah. They're just wet. I don't like cats. They get bare shook and just jump. Man. Shut down. What? So they're thick as shit as well. Where have you got that? Are you making it up or are you? Why, why, why? When did, when did um, kids and that come under cats? When did p- people caring about kids getting... Because there's been a lot... There was at a time, yeah? There was a lot of things that come out of people punching up their kids and killing them mm. and all that. There was yeah. about three or four that oh, same week. Maybe that baby parents coming out as well? Bro. Yeah, if you don't want to bum into me, I'll be That's with you, bro. That's a bit mad. Right. They're coming out of jail, bro. But when, when, did, when, did, when did kids come under cats? When did that start yeah. happening? No when do we? Bro. You know what it is? Because he's in the public eye. Bro, he's... What's his bare weird? His brother should have behaved himself because you're not that much of a baller to be acting like His brother that. got dropped as well, isn't it? Bro, his brother's his brother. Dagnum and Redbridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
if your brother ah, see it's he weird it though, man. I think it's but i hear it out though they're human beings yeah and sometimes you forget that you're f as famous as you are and you put things up forgetting that you've got ten thousand people watching what you're doing he keeps on fucking up how can you keep on fucking up so much people have got the camera Who? in their face Ivan Tony, celebrities with the, the, with, the, with, the, with the cameras in their face keep saying. But stuff. do you know what? That's equivalent of uh, there's that Zuma thing. You know when you're training your dog and it's pissing and shitting in the house and you give it a good smack and put his nose in the piss bomb. You can't do that no more. Well, that's what we have. But have but people are doing it, but it's not being filmed. Pointing it out. There. It's like slapping kids. You can't slap a kid, but every, every band will be No, you can slap kids. Oh, you can slap kids. No, man. Come on, man. What do you think should have happened to Zuma? It's not we should. Give him a, like a few game ban, but the 250... No, I'm not even game ban. The 250 grand ban for kicking a cat is mental. So what do you say to, what do you say to people that say, no, that's not enough. That's not enough. He should, he should like... He shouldn't be allowed like to have get pets. Get bagged. That's it, simple. Huh? He shouldn't be allowed like to have pets. To get bagged, they need to get a life, man. I need to mind getting back. They want to put their energy into fucking paedophiles and that, bro. Not geezers fucking slapping cats, bro. Zuma, you can kick me out of bollocks if I can live with you. I'll be honest with you, bro. Allow it. You don't know. You don't know anything about, like... What that cat did. <laughs> hey, look that, was just Cats are sly. <laughs> Who makes the rules as well? What, 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 what? So if we see a hot fox, yeah, you just waste, get out of him now. When you see a cat, who makes the rules of what animals can live in your drum? And what, 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 <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. acceptable to live in your drum and what's not acceptable to live in that your drum? Is wild. You see that you who picked up a fox in Worms, though? You seen that? What? <laughs> you I had that. Do you remember when I fell asleep? I got burst and I fell asleep on the hill outside my yard on the grass, yeah? And I woke up, yeah? And there was a fox on my foot, bruv. I jumped up and I screamed like a woman, bruv, yeah? I ran straight home. I got home, went to bed and I thought, you've left your phone, everything on there. I went back there. It was all still sitting there, bruv. I woke up, there was a fox on man's foot, bruv. That's mad. Oh, there's a video of one geezer. He pulls up in his car. He starts feeding the fox out of his hand. Like, but, oh, I'm so who makes it in his video and the fox sitting in the back who makes the, the, who, makes, <laughs> who makes the rules of pets that the foxes can't be domesticated yeah, it's mad. yeah, it's yeah. Mad. probably R RSPCA bro. give them their, give them a couple jabs they won't have rabies and that they're good yeah, yeah, yeah I think that's, that's what it, it worse, is bro. it's just the rabies because yeah. they're outside and all that you know what makes it worse RSPCA already knew about uh, Zuma kicking the cat before the video come out but now that it come in public's view he's got to be punished bro. they have to be seen to be doing something yeah I don't like I don't like these uh Animal activists, I think they're pussy. But they only do I think, I think kids, kids comes like first. first. Deal with kids yeah, first. Yeah. Fuck animals. There's people that leave their whole life savings to dolphins called Steve and shit like that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, no, you weird little man. man. <laughs> Nothing to do with <laughs> them, bro. They ain't getting no extra fish in a day for that, bro. But if no one cares <laughs> about it. But you see, always... see them animal activists? You want to go over to China or them places there. Yeah, we'll talk. I'm going to be my property, man. Yeah, go and so, where it's needed. I'm telling you that. Here, it's if I want to wear a can of the goose, I'm going to wear one. And if I come out and you throw paint on me, it's on. Yeah, like, it's like on you're track. an op. Like I'm, I'm taking just you, into I'm, man I'm from charging over you there. to the bank, bro. I'm charging bro, you to the fucking you thingy. Nuts, cash bro. Bro. <laughs> Fred, I've got to ask you, right? We're going to do this Dubai thing, yeah? Some people know about it. Some people don't know about it, yeah? I've got so many questions. Fred likes to frequent Dubai. Now I'm thinking, why? Why does he like to frequent Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I ain't got that bread, bro. Uh, oh, <laughs> shit. I ain't got the bread to do what you're asking. People, I, I went on Twitter and I see Dubai Porter Potty. I just clicked on it. <laughs> it's the worst shit I've ever seen in my life. Pull a potty? They're shitting on this bird's face and that, bruv. They're well, sucking, there's a video of it. They're sucking off... I was, I was, you're talking about cats. These men are sucking off dogs, bruv, yeah? That well, no, what I don't understand. Life. I've got so many questions. They're doing it... I see a thing that they do, the girls are going out to Dubai and these Arab dons are making them do things, yeah? They're not making them. They're paying them to do things. The girls yeah? are willingly going out. You know what's going on. Right. You don't go to the bar. You know the bar's an expensive place. Girls are going to the bar the, on the one-way flights with a hotel for a week. Yeah, but tend to when they're cannons. What, what are you doing? You, know, <laughs> you don't work. You ain't got nothing else to do. You ain't got enough peace to the fund The problem them. for me is, Fred, yeah, the amount that I'm seeing what they're doing it for. 30 bags is not unattainable for the normal human. You just no, got to save some... Just take your own lunch to work. You'll save 30 bags, bro. You haven't got to get shit on <laughs> You know what it is? It's regular peas, though, isn't it, bro? It's regular peas, bro. Everybody's in it once a month or something, oh, bro. regular shit on your face, bro. Yeah, they don't give a shit, bro. These <laughs> bitches are crazy nowadays. See, even when you go through your TikTok, bitches yeah, are posting like, yeah, the most scatty most, stuff. It's my, Tell me just this. for some views on that. Tell me this. Have you be, you've been to Dubai how many times? Two. Two. Have you ever seen birds that you'd be like, I blatantly know that that's what you're doing? Yeah. Bear. Bear. Everywhere in Dubai you see them. That's I'll be honest, bro. English. 
Bare English ones. See, bare influences out there. They're all on that. No, they influence men like you. They're not my influences. No, I'm saying like influence. <laughs> influence my influence like Raekwon and Goface and like, a lot of them like reserved. a lot of them like little Z list type girls. All of them on that out there, bro. And the worst thing is, see when you're in a club out there, yeah, it's like everyone is a brass. Every girl in a club is a brass. So someone like you has got no chance because you're not going to pay five racks to knob. No, but it's just the fact that like, everyone's a brass out there. No one's shopping for free, basically. And is that why you've been twice? Why? Because you're brass. <laughs> no, imagine, yeah. See, when I was at, I was at one thingy in my hotel, yeah. There's one event in my hotel. So what do you do at the end of the night, yeah? So you're the normal geezer. At the end of every every rave, the man them hang about and try to see what happens, and we all go back to a hotel, or you do what you're doing, innit? Yeah, yeah. Are you saying these things are saying, no, I'm getting 30 bags, so I don't need to go with you? They get, they're just going to get paid. They're so they're just getting outbid. So the normal guy is getting outbid by arrows with yeah. keys over there. Bro, listen oh, to this, man. how mad this is. You might as well just stay there. Obviously, London, there's bare like, English things that just got there for just to go to holiday, obviously, yeah? But there's bare shit to do out there. But when I was at one uh, event in my hotel, I'm chilling there. There's this one Arab guy, he's bare old, yeah? He's got the big RM on, like 200 steel bag kettle. He's chilling there. Bro, I'm watching him. He's just moving from spot to spot. He's got that security with him. He just going to everything. What's he dressed like? Is he in the whole get up? No, he didn't have that. Didn't have the um the setup and that. So he's not blatantly. So, so he's not blatantly like no, a chic or but, something. Bro, I was like looking at him. He went in quick time. He went to like five different girls on Thunder Rangers and sat there speaking to more. And he got two of their numbers. And I was like, bro, it's a numbers game, really. Silly. If you got if you've got the bread and you got oh, to these girls, I don't know. A few of them. Are I think if I had that bread, I've still got a little sign in me that says I'm not doing that, bro. No, no see I'm these man. Not, these man don't give a shit. That piece is nothing to them. They will just chuck that all day just for the laugh. It's like, bro, we do certain shit and pay money just for a laugh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, I hate, I hate like that concept. Them yeah, man yeah. are violating someone for nothing. It don't, the money don't I want to know how you even make that connection from like, you're a ting, you're, you're an English bird, you've gone out on a holiday one way, and how do you even make that connection where someone feels close enough to roll up to you and say, they, you, These you men approach them on a regular, bro. We they just, get approached anywhere so, them So let's put it the other way around, just put it the other way Every girl's getting approached out there by them. Imagine you're, you are who you are now, yeah? Mm. We're there, and someone says, come here. 30 bags, suck off my dog. I'll kill you. Because it's just pure disrespect. In, in the but so no, no, no. What, the thing for me is, Dan, you looked at everyone, then you looked at me, <laughs> and you thought I was the one that you was going to shit on. That's what I'm pure saying, disrespect. That's what I'm saying. He went and approached every single girl that was there by herself. It's just a numbers game, things like that. So you being out there, how many out of every, say every 10 he tries, how many uh, how many out of 10 do you reckon think he, he shits on? Man like that shit on? It's probably comes down to every... But how he, many shits? It's comes down to every well decides. What are these but like, the video RC, decides. there was laxatives involved. The video RC was crazy, bro. No, so you know what it is? Video on that. It's on Twitter. You know what you got to look so, at about oh, like oh, these girls? I'm looking it up, you know. I See if you go on your explore page, if you search up the buyer on just on Insta places, yeah? How many girls from England, not just England, like, obviously they're from every country out there, but how many of them are out there and been living there for a long time and well, you don't friends, work out there? Do you know what my not issue all your is parents though? are rich paying for you. Do you know what my issue is though? You're quite a regular geezer, yeah? As in like terms of life. The same, I would say we're all like the same kind of way. Yeah, yeah. And you still are able to go out there and live your movie, yeah? Mm. So it's not unobtainable that you have to get shit on to go there. No, but they've got bread now. These girls are coming back and they're, they're buying these whips and these houses in England, bro. Girls ain't just doing it out there just to live a lifestyle for a bit. They're doing it out there and they're getting big bread. They're just out there, enjoying while they're out there, but they know that's the only place they're the, getting. The geezer I work with, we was talking about this in the coffee shop, yeah? And he said to me, everyone's got a price. I said, no, not where I come from and the way I was raised. I don't have a price, big man. He told me a yellow Lamborghini would wank one of them off. I said, yo, <laughs> listen, listen. Have you seen listen, that? Listen. Who's that man who do that? I think them other man, they do a podcast, though. I can't remember this guy. He's a mixed I don't have a price See, for any of them things. Man, got the hood up and he's like, that, "Who's that guy with the glasses? Specs." He walks in the room. Oh, and um, suck man like, up for ten mil. Who else is doing he's it? He's like, "Yes, it's a business thing." The other guy turned. I was like, "If you man do it first, I'll do it." No, no. Oh. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you remember we were talking about the Klarna thing earlier, and I said to you, man, like, I can't wear twelve build trainers and know that I'm paying off from thirty quid a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. I can't have fifty grand in cash under my bed. But know that I sucked off a dog. Every, every time you look I at the money, I can't do it. Every time you look at the money, you know. I know. Looking at dogs the same after that as well. Listen, bro. you 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 <laughs> don't you don't realize how things would affect you I'm until really you've like, done them. Yeah, see, big man, see big man, see big man that are bare naughty and they kill someone, they can't live with it. 
Mm. Right. Mm. Right. 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 You're gonna you're gonna suck off a dog. You'd be like every day like sucked off a dog, bro. Yeah, you yeah. can't. I feel like ninety. I feel like ninety percent of females are willing to just give it up. That's a humongous number of women that you're saying. That's a big big number, and I think it is, but we will. No, you're every wrong. single no, girl. You know what? I think it's a high TikTok. percent, but I don't think it's in the nineties. I don't think. How any... do you say it's above seventy? I would say. Nah. I would say it's. I would say it's between a good fifty-five to sixty-five. Well, I might be naive, here, but I don't think that any female that I'm currently talking to would lower themselves to do that. I fucking hope the female that I'm not. That I'm, I was you want to hope because you got one, so <laughs> your, your, your numbers are low. You know what the thing is, bro? Bare girls are just doing anything. Like, see, even the little things. Getting your ass up for a couple of extra likes on Insta. That's crazy, man. Do you think that? Yeah, it is, man. It is crazy. It is Do you think that over here, if that shit was acceptable, there would be certain men paying to shit on things over here? I don't man do. Oh, if they got bread. Like, huh? If they got bread, they're 100%. It come, that's a money thing. Bosh. If I get bread, if I just won the last lottery in the 884 million. Do you know what? Listen I think you might not forget it. I don't no, go, no, no, I everyone. can now afford to shit on everyone. I don't think it's, I don't think no, it's, no, 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 I don't no, think no, sometimes it comes down to peas like that. Do you know what I think it is? You man, don't you man remember when that up queen come out? Yeah, there good was girl, a, good girl. There was, <laughs> there was a man that was sucking off hood man. Don't you remember that guy? There's a reason we don't remember that. No, but I'm saying, <laughs> but I'm no, saying. You no, only remember because no, no, you got his this, number. This is what I'm saying though. This is what I'm saying though. So, so there's man doing that. So there, some man are just on some freaky. Some no, man no, are just no, on no, some no, mad not shit. Freaky, bro. They're just gay geezers. John, bro, listen. If you're shit, if you're, if you wanna. If you want to pay someone to shit on them, so just red boys. That's a muzzle. John, bro. answer me this now. This is a girl you don't like from secondary school, yeah? You don't like a lot of them, probably. Are you gonna say I'm gonna? Would I pay no, to I'm shit saying, on them? If you had, if you had mills on mills, and you could shit on this girl you didn't like, and you see her in the street every day, and you're like, you're a little bitch, I don't like you. Now you got mills, and you know you can shit on her for thirty bags. Would you do it just for the feeling? Do you wanna know the I'm honest answer? Like no. And do you know why? Because I got bad boy girl cousins. They'll batter her. Yeah, and I'll just give them 20 bags to weigh her in. I don't need to shit. I'm not... I, I Is that a violation thing though? By me degrading another human being like that, that don't sit right with me. That is... Mad. I don't no, even understand. Money, I don't bro. even understand how you get off. For me, the this, this shit thing was one thing. But when I heard about the dog thing, I don't understand where you get off at that. Where is the pleasure in that? Well, managers got so much money, they just... You know what it is? See Fred, bro, don't matter how much no, money you've got. Listen, you don't man, pay people to suck we've, off dogs. We've seen things on the man them. The man them paying people to, to drink, do what? To drink dog's milk. Huh? To drink dog's milk and shit like that. All right, cool. You drunk dog's milk. Because it's just funny. You're just violating someone. If you've got a piece of far away, like them I was only paying them. Like, you're talking about man them that are trapping in bandos. You're not talking about Arab sheiks, I'll be honest with you, bro. No, you're talking about man them that went country. No, 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 no. You're talking about man them that went country. They're all sitting in the yard trapping. No one's had a shower. They're bored. So they paid the nitty to drink milk. That's what you, you're talking about. You're not talking about Arabs. Geez in work said to me, I'll wank of an Arab for a yellow Lamborghini. He I said to get him, that done. I said to him, <laughs> I said to him, 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 but then, then every time you sit in that yellow, yellow Lamborghini, do you not think like, yo, and every year it goes down in value anyway. Mm. I'm like, yo, do you not think like, I've done that for money. I honestly don't care about money. Money rules a lot of people's lives, though. Yeah. Like, serious. I serious. don't get it. I don't see it. Big time. I've never been like that, bruv. See oh, honestly, you need money for everything in life. No, but if I got a true. score and you need a tenner, you can have the tenner. I'll suffer with my tenner as well. Like, I don't see that money comes and money goes. Oh, yeah, I hear that. I'll probably bruv. think that as well, but obviously, listen, I'll, I'll spend whatever on whatever, listen, but I've been broke. I want to be rich. I've been broke before. I didn't die. It's true. I didn't die. <laughs> but it happens, bro. You know what it is, though? You, you, clock, you clock bare people go weird about money, though. When someone ain't got money, they'll start acting weird about certain stuff. Yeah, See, yeah. Like, there's a thing here. You, I don't think you might want to say something. But I'd rather tell you, man. Saying, if you men all wanted to do money, something, if you men all wanted to do something, I didn't have the readies, I'd rather tell you, man, like, I ain't really got it like that. And then more times, one of the men will say, just come, yeah, come yeah, with me. That, this, yeah. You'll be like, this, sweet, on the rebound, I got you. Yeah, and yeah. It, it works out. Yeah. You can get on your feet. This is what this TikTok is. There's one guy here. There's one guy who called himself at first saying, I've had enough of man them who ain't got the money to come to motives and come to motives and end up leeching on man. Now that's and what then some other guy cuts him there and he's like, bro, if you ain't got the money, I see come, that. To the, come to the motives. See me and your brother. Do you know how many times we've bounced off each other over the years from being 16 now to 29? Do you know how many times we've bounced off each other? He's having a bad week. It don't matter you're having a bad week. You're coming with me. Mm. Two months later, I'm having a fucking bad week. Yeah, so yeah. Rent has hit the same time as this rave and this rave is looking good. And <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. So you're coming with me. You look after each other. Mm. What you don't do is go pack, and you know what you're gonna have to do. 
You don't have to go to Dubai and sell a dog. <laughs> no names here. Yeah? Well, remember that situation was in Shoreditch? And someone said to you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, you know what I'm talking about, yeah? And but I don't hold... Like, uh, certain people that tell you they got you, me and me and his brother, we got each other forever and everyone else in this room, yeah? Yeah. Right? Certain people, when they say they got you, I'm not... I'm not um, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked yeah, you're when you them. don't. Like, I'm yeah. not shocked when you <laughs> yeah. don't. Like, you invited me out when I didn't have the readies to go, because you know I'm a vibe. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> go out, spend a hundred pound, talk to zero bitches. Yeah, but but you invite me out, but I don't hold you to a standard. I don't hold him to a standard that I'd hold you to. No, I hear that. You get that? I don't. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. that. He's You're a man. He's a man would just suck off a dog for forty pounds. So. You see what he's done on that same day. I don't need to say nothing more. Could you live with yourself with that? And do you have a price? Do you have a price? A price for what? Sucking off dogs and shit. No, in the no chest. fucking. No, 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 no stuff like that. that. Never. Huh? No, no stuff like that. <clears throat> no stuff was going to scar me. No fucking way. Bro, I think as well, I'm from the manor. I'd rather just link up with a man than go country. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Just make the one phone call. Say, "You man, can I come with you, man?" Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm done, like, I'm done. No, I told the man, "Listen, I'm listen, one move, listen, isn't it? listen. It's, it's either can I come country? I'm gonna go suck off a dog. Can I, can I come?" <laughs> and I go, "No, you got to suck off a dog." Oh, like, oh leave it out, bro. Stop, I don't start, see. Start begging to go country. Now. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> greed. Greed is the worst. Greed is the second thing, the second worst thing to ever happen to the human race. Number one is religion. Not a particular religion, but as a whole, all this done has made everyone hate each other yeah, and divide greed. people. And we yeah, should also yeah. be look at human beings as human beings. Other than that, number two is greed. Is greed. So. You know what? I can't get my head around, Bob. See, what's his name? Elon Musk at the minute. He's out. How can one man have so much bread? It's unbelievable. Good luck. He can never spend the peas. Yeah, but yeah, but no, he does. He can't spend you're peas. talking about a man who also said what well, world hunger could be stopped by this man. He said, I'll give it to you if you can prove it, and no one proves it. Yeah, he so said, if, if you fall like on a board, where if you can everything. prove that we can stop world hunger with this amount of money, I will give it to you. You know what the thing is with that? Yeah, I don't, world, believe, in, so I don't believe in the, world, the world won't work if we was all on the same level. You know, I don't believe, but I don't believe yeah, it yeah, yeah. won't work. That's like charity stuff. Where does charity money go? Yeah, but it won't work. Red Cross and things like that. Then, what's the one that comes up and pay a big bear? Oh. They've been doing that for 50 so, years, bro. And they always They've been come doing up it on like TV 23 every meals year. being sent over there, bro. Peas. How much can it cost to feed a family? Man might call me rude as well, yeah. But you see the man, that they say, my man walked 50 miles for water. Yeah. Why don't you just live next to the water? Yeah, because you don't know that you live in No, real life. Why do you not just live next to the water? I don't think it works like that. Yeah, so how does it work? I don't know, but it, it can't. Oh, awesome. That's too yeah, simple. The solution is too simple. No, no, but I was, yeah, I know <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Men oh, saying, man. men saying, surely they would have done that if that was the case. But why don't you not move next to the water? Yeah, but you're going on like it's East London. You move from this house. You go but there's the certain places in East London I wouldn't drink the water as well. Newham, I wouldn't drink the water in Newham. Shadwell. Shadwell, oh, Jesus it's Christ. Only no tap water for you. No, where did I go the other day and I thought, this is crazy. Where did I go the other day? Somewhere in West London, I thought, this is crazy. Might be a Labbrook Gro- Lab- 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 uh, Grove or something. That place is fucked. Should we do Will Smith? This well, guy, this guy is such must. a waste, man. I don't know what aspect to start on. Do you know, what's mo- you know what winds me up the most about him? How old is Will Smith, you reckon? 50s, early 50s. So he's had an entire career of like no fuckeries, no stories, no nothing. And then the last two years, mental, you've just lost complete. The, the real, the Chris Rock thing is just that ain't even that ain't even what a man are focused on. What I'm more focused on is your youths writing letters to your birds ex and things like that. Bro. You're giving green lights, so you're writing letters to two pack like he's gonna read them, he's not gonna read it. You've also shown your family up, bro. <laughs> What is wrong with you, well, bro? He's Fred, a, Fred, his wife is his problem. Fred, you have yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fred, you have a, you have a kid with a bird, yeah, a woman, yeah. I don't. The kid, but if I did, the kid, then has an open letter that they put on Instagram. They posted up the picture, mm. writing to the ex geezer who's not the dad. You're the dad. Bobby, I'm pulling him in that living room and I'm making him get his socials. Up. You know what it is, bro. No, I say, man, let their kids. No, I say, do you want to go live with him because he's dead? Do you want to go live with him? See me, that's why, that's why, that's why yeah. I see him talking to a youth as well. You gotta put youth straight. See that, that is crazy. There's no need. I bought you up, I'll give you every but then again, I feel like it's 
he didn't spend a lot of time on his boots where he was busy doing shit. And you know what worries me out the most? That's like weird. It could it only weird. be from someone from your circle that published that. Mm. You know what the thing is though? See Will Smith, yeah? Why is he so trapped on this thing? Which is looking media as fuck anyway. When he was out here chopping Margot Robbie. He was know. out here chopping, chopping Margot Robbie. See the one he done that film with? Yeah. Or do you reckon, yeah? He, do you reckon? Like, yeah, yeah. Do you reckon my man done so much fuck for his, yeah? He that now the bird's just like. gone, nah, it's my turn. And just put everything out. I don't care what I've done yeah, to oh, a girl. Man. I could <clears> never <throat> give my wife a green light to chop another man. Not Is that no what he did? He gave her a green light to chop that August Osana. No, no, no. I don't think he did, though. There's no such I thing. I think he it? found out at the red table that she had an entanglement. Now you see that. Now that pisses me <laughs> off now as well. <laughs> red table. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> so let's do this. So see red, this, this red table shit. <laughs> yeah. Imagine Daniel is having passed with his bird. And we go, what we do? We're going to come to the pub. Daniel and his bird. G, you're going to film this. And they're going to sit here and they're going to have it out. Don't be fucking stupid. <laughs> it's between them. Is that what that red table Oh, yeah. Are the men them different? Because certain men, yeah, they, um, they'll tell you certain shit, yeah, or they'll tell you about it. See, we've all asked men. When I tell you, oh, I'm having this or this going on, that, and everyone's just like, as long as you're happy, bruv, it's between your business. <laughs> uh, all, all we ever do to each other is go, when it comes to birds, bruv, it's, it's your business, bruv. I don't know, don't put it out there like that, bruv. Bruv, oh, we're not God. famous, and everyone keeps their shit yeah, in yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. You're at the top of the world. Top, uh, top of Secondly, the if I'm Chris Rock, I'm smacking you from behind. No <laughs> way you're doing that to I me. Thought, when I first watched it, I thought it was staged. I'm not going to lie, I saw it about there. I was trying to watch it in bare angles. I was thinking, but it's got to be they fake. They keep zooming in. It looks bare fake the way he slapped. Yeah, yeah, it's the way... For me, way for me, like, for me, weird. yeah, that Chris Rock thing comes back to the Dubai thing. It links up, yeah? You are a man. You don't let certain things happen and just mm -hmm. walk away from them. So you don't let someone shit on you and you don't suck off dogs. You also don't let someone just slap you and walk off. There's, we've been in a pub. If a man slapped me downstairs, we're going. <laughs> and there's not even the Oscars. There's no tellies. They've yeah, done nothing. Yeah. We're going, bro. I just don't. I don't, I don't know, man. It was weird. The situation was weird, bro. I just feel like... He's a pussy, Chris Rock, for taking that. I'll Apparently be real. Apparently, yeah, bare man backstage in that as well, though. So who, what? Who, who, bro, they were set, who was it? Someone else come out. What, you telling me none of the men have ever, ever done anything like, drunk outside the pub or outside a club and 20 minutes later you're getting the craziest call saying, oh, this guy actually knows a few people. No, but the thing <laughs> is, for them to not come out anyway, that's like me, if I'm in, say I'm in a club, yeah, and you're outside of smoking now, I can see outside of you. If I see someone outside slap you, there's no questions, I'm outside. You know what's weird? They, they banned him from the Oscars though, yeah? But also, you know, that, that see that Chris Rock? That weren't freestyling he done there. That was written, that was approved by someone, that was approved by someone else, and they said, you can say that. So when he said that, and he's reacted to it, now you want to ban my man. But the maddest thing is that when he, when he actually dropped the joke, it pans on them, and they're both laughing. Yeah, and it turns back. And then it turns No, but you've never done it, though. you never done that. I've done that. I've done that 100%. I've been in the pub. I remember one time some guy said something. I went, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then about 30 seconds later, I realized... And then thought about it. Yeah, you've mugged like, me off. Process. Yeah, yeah you've mugged me off. 100% yeah, yeah. you took the piss here. I hear that. But I just feel like... Because straight away, you don't assume that someone would do that to you. And then it sinks in, you go, you've took the piss. And I've let it slide. But nah, the, the thing is with Will Knight, ain't it come back that nah, his wife is getting on to him for slapping Chris Rock? Yeah, yeah. She's got to go. But she is, she is the root of the problem. Like, she has the fact that she is talking about a dead geezer that she knobbed 20 years ago is outrageous. <clears throat> bro. Yeah, that's mental, man. She's got to go, man. She's the... She's the downfall. And you can just see that the two Big kids time. are just fucked. Yeah. They are fucked, bro. My man, when he said, you just see the interview with him, he said, I talk to my friends and they just want to talk about party. And he said, I just want to talk about economic, social. Thing. <laughs> if you come in the pub yeah, and one of you man went, John, let's not talk about the play of Sunderland, Nottingham Forest. Let's talk about the economics shit. I say, listen, get out of the pub. We're oh, trying to enjoy find it. Find some online stuff. friends for that, man. Find well, some more people like you. Obviously, it's got nothing yet. It's got nothing to do with today, but what do you think about this Johnny Depp case, man? That's just I think crazy. she's a liar. Anyone who's shit in your bed is mental. I think she's a crazy bitch, anyway. She's he? mad. Bro. But he luckily recorded her, though, for what she said. But you know what's weird about that for me? How are you in a relationship with two people and you don't trust each other that much that before, long before you even have a pastor, you're recording what each other is saying because you think it's going to go to court? 
You're toxic. Just, just get out of yeah, Leave yeah. each other yeah, alone, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's mad. That's Take, that's yeah, mad. someone shits in my bed. Oh, that case has been going on for fuck. She tried to say it was a Yorkie first, but with it, <laughs> I see that shit straight away and said, "That's not a dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a dog shit. There's a lot of fiber in that." I was just straight <laughs> away, bro. Fiber, bro. <laughs> I'm straight away, bro. She might as well go oh. to my bro. What's she doing? Um, doing it free um, bed, yeah, yeah, you're shitting in sake, beds bro. for free and getting <laughs> nicked for it. You might as well shit on man's chest and she would get big peas out there doing that. <laughs> No, do you know what's fucked though? What, what, what would have happened if he, if, he, if he didn't record? Well, that's, he that's the thing. Through the, through the years, they, everyone thought it was him doing it to that amber. But you know what she's fucking up? She's fucking up, yeah, that like... I, when women say things like that about men, we should be able to believe them straight away and take their side and go, he's a scumbag. Because of people like her, we can't take your word yeah, on yeah. Yeah, we yeah. used to be able to just take your word. Well, there's another guy she was yeah, with before, yeah. innit? Who she done madness with as well. She used to try to weigh him in and that all the time. And he come and... No, what that. is this? Elon Musk, being in relationships Elon Musk, with people yeah. weighing people in. It was Elon Musk. If you remember rightly, I remember being in the pub, yeah? Elon Musk was with her before, innit? Yeah, yeah. And she used to try and attack Elon Musk and that as well. What is he this got about? called out for the court as well. What is this about? Where are your bridging? Because if you remember rightly, we're going to say no names here, yeah? But one of the mandem, you man made up a rumour, yeah? Only to the other mandem that my man was getting beat up by his new girl, yeah? Right? So me and his brother, <laughs> me and his brother in the pub, me and his brother in the pub were going, what? We're going, we're fucking batter her, bro. What are you talking? What, what, my man's scared and she's getting rushed, he's getting battered and that. We ain't having that, that's our pal. Boom, we're on her. And the man said, well, only lying. Da, da, da. It got so but, deep. Man was saying, they reached Yeah, why does spud him? He's all bitches. Why spud him? We're peoples, we was going to do her, bro. So how are you oh, getting in? Hell. Did you see with that Johnny Depp and that thingy, that Amber Bird as well? Yeah. Where are all their friends? Where's all the voices she, well, of reason? She she had bare of her friends move into his apartment. And he was paying. He never charged them nothing ever. She just took the piss out of him, bro. He was just paying for everything for everyone. Because you pay for things for women, it don't mean you're being took the piss out of no, but bro, a lot of these girls don't give a shit what they're doing as long as they're getting stuff paid for. That's what I feel. That's what I feel like about a lot of girls in general. That's what I said about numbers earlier. Girls don't care what's going on. See, like for girls, yeah. See, like rappers and footballers and that, yeah. They let man treat Podcasts. them however they want, yeah. They let man treat them however they want. But your average guy, so what? This this guy can just come along, fuck you as a as a bit of banter, and it's cool. But the average guy can't just fuck you. He's got to do this and wife you or whatever. Crazy. I hear no, I hear I hear what you're it's saying. It's crazy, bro. I do hear what you're saying. Girls, you know what it is? They don't see these I girls, don't hold that type of crap with women anyway. I can't these girls ain't even seeing the peas, that's the thing. Just because man has money. Yeah, yeah. They're willing to they're willing he, to do the He ain't buying you nothing. He ain't buying you nothing. He I might take some other basis. I don't know what type of women you're talking to. Probably a higher grade than the type of women that I'm talking to. <laughs> right? But mine are sweet, and I don't think any of them are, I don't think any of them have got enough clout to get rappers and footballers to start with, yeah. <laughs> But I don't think that any of them would do that. But when you look in general... First of all, mine have got kids as well, so they won't take shit. When you look in general, I'll be honest, a lot of girls just give it up for anyone with a bit of a name. But your average guy is not good enough to just... So talking about women as well, because if man could get away with it, there'd be bare man sucking off these footballers as well. Don't get it twisted. So just making it a women thing. It it's is not a women. Thing, man. You it can be... Thing. Listen, see nowadays now, yeah? So see back in the day, yeah? And I've talked to our old boys about this all the time and they're proper surty with it as well, yeah? See, back in the day, if you was a wrong one, like, you was suspected to be that like, a bit of a creep sexually or you was a grass or you was that like, an horrible <laughs> or something, no one would fuck with you and you'd be gone. You see now, you can be a grass, you can be a sexual predator, yeah, yeah. right? You can be anything. But if you've got money, you're someone's big bro. Everyone's big bro. Yeah, yeah. Right? 100% everyone's big bro. Everyone is big... If an eight-year-old has got more money than these men, they'll call him Big Bro. Uh, big Bro, you right, bro? Because they think he's going to take him to fucking somewhere and we can yeah, yeah, yeah. just go shisha lounge with my man and we'll be all right, bro. Get out of here, bro. Men, you're talking about women all the time. Like, these geezers don't have the same morals as all these men, as all these women. You're wrong there. No, There's no. bare men that are more mental with money and... he. He's a grass. I feel he's like a man, rapist. I feel like but man he's big bro money. because yeah, you're yeah. gonna take a shisha land. I feel Get like more man is mental with money because of how females act. What? I feel like more man is mental. So you're basically just blaming females. How yeah, that's why I make you wrong. Oh, man, I don't, I don't, you, you know what I mean? should look at? What's that guy's name, bro? Watch definitely knows this guy, man. He used to be a Muay Thai kickboxer or something, but now he's it's something tight. 
Yeah, that's the guy I was talking about earlier, the bald guy. Tech- bald guy. He um, does all them. See the um American podcast, the American podcast, the big oh, full table podcast. Mm. It's a bald guy. He's sitting there with all the, way, all the women and that. Yeah, yeah, all the women that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see him, yeah. He will say he says about all that type of shit, and he think, brings up bad shit to do with women. But it's very true. The, the woman he's with and that, he says, bro, I know oh, it's only because my money. Everything yeah, to do yeah. with my money. I go and buy these bottles because oh, okay, I want to be yeah. fucking good looking girls. Good looking girls ain't gonna be with your average guy. And it's true. If but then, not be, he's not gonna be. He's as bad. There. He's as bad as the birds getting shit on in Dubai. Because yeah. I would like to think that anyone that I hang about with, I have a relationship with, they they like me because of the type of people I am. See me. Even that's, that's what you should. Even with, take away sure. women as friends. Yeah, but that's yeah, not yeah. the case. Uh, no, yeah. as as four pals, as four pals, you like me because of who I am. I like yeah, you because yeah. of who you are. Say, you let are. Let you are. Right I don't like you because you got money. Let me, money. Let me make this point right now. Premier League footballers, for example, yeah. Premier League footballers, rappers, actors, anyone up there, big lamb. It's a bang on the table. How many of them have got their thing? Really, you know, <laughs> no one's got that thing. Do you think them things? See, but they're not from the hood. Look at the hood. The truth is, look you're not from the man unless you're for. How many blocks could you go in London and there's a don that looks exactly like Digger D, but he's chopping all these influences and that? Because just because the peas. Listen, the truth is, there's an old saying: you're not really from the manor unless your first baby mum's ugly. Everyone's first baby mum from the ends is ugly. If they're good looking, you fucked it. Yeah. Look at little Dirk's first baby, man. Nah, that one. OCF Nikki. Yeah? And I guarantee you, I guarantee you that OCF Nikki is the realest bird that he's ever been with. Yeah. I guarantee, I put my yeah. life yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but that's what I, I brought up on a couple of podcasts ago. I, if I got rich now, like millionaire rich, I would never have a girl. I'll be honest ever. with you. I'll be honest so with you. I don't know if they're there for the peas or not. I, if you ever girl. got rich, I would hate to think what yeah, you would do. You could be rich and no one can know about it, bro. No, yeah, no you can't. Nah. <laughs> you've got, you've got to tell <laughs> it. Right. Right. If you've got a friend, you're going to flex. You're going to flex. Right? What are you going to do, being rich then? What are you going to do? I want to have kids, bro. You make 100 mil. If you, <laughs> real, if, you look, if you look tomorrow and there's 100 mil in your account, what are you doing? Do you know what I'm doing? You're going to live a calm, easy life. You're going to come out and go mental. And yeah. everyone's going to be like, you're doing this a bit too frequently. No, but have your moment. You're wrong. You're wrong. Do you know why? Daniel, if you had 100 mil in, 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 in the morning, you still be with the girl we use with now. Because, no, because she's Gucci. No, not to do with the she's girl. She's Gucci. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You can't change that. I'm and not and, that, girl, and that means rich. more than any of any, any, any of anyone you're teams. talking about in any Dubai. Bro. That's not what I'm saying. I'm so saying look at Tyson lifestyle. Fury and people like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come yeah, on, bro. Yeah. Then your lifestyle is unhardable. No, do you know what, Fred? you know what, Fred? No, I hear... I'd rather be with a girl now. You're coming at women a lot. Bro, you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. See, if I'm with a girl now, yeah, and I've been seeing her for a few years, if I get rich tomorrow, I'd rather stick with that girl because I know she's with me before the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm no, saying, I get what you're saying. If I was bro. to make a hundred million tomorrow, everyone would know. I'd, everyone would be like, "Bro, this guy's done something because he's got my pee. I'm not gonna just carry on living my basic day to day life. I'm gonna be getting a little jet somewhere and, that and living off on Maldives for a couple of weeks and that. And everyone's be like, "Raw, you've been Maldives two weeks ago. Now you're going here. Now you're going here." Can I be honest with you? you ain't, you've done something. It might be easy to say it because I ain't got it. But if I had a hundred million in the morning, I'd still want to do this. And yeah, I but you'd be, doing, st- you'd be doing shit where someone could point out. No, and living... I still want to. I still want to drink here. Yeah, but people point out you're living past your average no, I'm means. Still, I'm going to work on Monday. People <laughs> clocked you. People clocked that something's happened in your life and you've come into a, a big amount of money. Wow, well, I'm, way gonna, I'm gonna chuck in a great scenario here while we're talking about women and I get off their backs. Yeah, you're coming you off their backs. You know, right. not... So I've got a great it's scenario here good, where we're gonna see Fred's true colors. Right. So you're dating a girl. You've met on one of these weird little apps that everyone goes on there, yeah? You've been seeing her for six weeks, right? She's Gucci. You really like her. You're thinking, cool, this is good. Then you find out she's homeless and lives under a bridge. What do you do? And I have options. A, you move under the bridge with her. B, you move her in with you. C, you pay for an hotel till she gets on her feet. D, you give her the re- resources to get into a shelter. Or E, you get the fuck out of there. So she's she's Gucci. You like her. She's a good person. You like the way she looks, but she's homeless and she lives under a bridge. My thing is, when you go on dates, at least you ain't got to drop her own. <laughs> oh, no, real life. No, nice. real life. Real life. You don't have to drop her off home. <laughs> and she can it. never chat shit to you. Because I don't like it when birds got the same amount of bread. I'm not going to lie. It winds me up, bro. You know what the thing is, though, bro? Realistically, she's going to have the stink puss or something. Because where's she going? No, 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 no. So you've been on back. You've been dating for six weeks. It's been hidden. 
And now oh, you find out, right. right, she lives under a bridge. Like if a I'm like, I'll move her in now and be like, right. Yeah, you're going to move her in? I'll, yeah, I'll move her in and I'll turn her into somebody. I'll you're going to move her in? Facts. What if you move what her in? What bridge you got about turning her into somebody, bro? No, but it's not, it's not about bread, though. It's about how you... What if how you, you move her in? Them and what if, them off their, what if you off move her song, in? Bruv. What if you move her in and she treats your drum like under the bridge? Then we're going to have a conversation, isn't it? Do you not have the conversation no, that says, oh, why do you live under a bridge? That's where you fucked up. Of course, though. Of course you're going to have that. And I'm, gonna... I'm paying for a hotel until she gets back on her feet. That's, That's where you fucked up. That's just a waste of money. Yeah, you're, you're, you're just peeing. You're, well, you're losing really... peas, bro. You said, I've known her for six weeks. But you've been on six, nah, seven days. Now hotels in London. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let me talk. Let me talk. Go on. You've seen each other for six, seven days. I'm talking homeless. And you're that confident that you can bring it into your house so you don't know what the fuck's going on when you're going to work or whatever. First off, rewind. You don't call women it. <laughs> right, let's not do that. This guy's at me today. Go on. No, no, no. You don't call you, her. She's homeless. Oh, her, yeah. Personally, her for... personally, if I've known her and we've been together, we've seen each other for seven weeks, bro. Seven weeks. You know how that's much time you've spent that's with that thing. No, that's seven wrong. Weeks. Now you're wrong. I don't yeah, think that's wrong. a lot. You're definitely wrong. I don't you think don't that's think a lot of time. Weeks, a lot of time. Think... No. You're gonna hide a lot for seven weeks, but you're gonna have an average. Like, someone, but if you know someone for five years, you don't know what, what, what they're about. He's right. For no, five no, you're years, right. You but listen, you know, so how can you know? I'm taking, I'm taking one second. When a girl in. in seven weeks, bro, you can move into the house. So how can people have a baby with a girl on the back? Exactly, because they're waste men. That never works out. Put that flex, bruv. You've got to understand, like, just just because it's only seven weeks. There's still an enormous amount of time you can spend with someone. You can hide time. I disagree with that, man. You can hide time from your girl for your whole life. 100%, lifetime. bro. I disagree with that. You can hold parts of your traits. I'm going to keep it real. What I would like to say is, I would do the dash. Oh, I don't get enough tools to do the dash. Right? <laughs> Plus, you're homeless. You can't really chat shit to me anymore. Right? Huh? Girls should have more bread than man, then. Yeah, because if you see how much. If there weren't no soul shots, fingers, pubs, I would be able to buy a Twitter as yeah, well. Yeah, but you know what is as well? <laughs> Girls go out to these places, they get. Bear their drink, discount, or pay for thirteen them. pound boohoo dresses. Yeah, thirteen pound boohoo dresses. Yeah, but they're only for women only... again. Oh, no, I'm just saying. No, again. I didn't say that. Thirteen pound. This is the first some major girl, some girl, point some... he's made. Bro. No, some oh. girls just some girls just nice, not. But certain girls will go out and expect if you're not wearing a five hundred pound t-shirt, bro, I'm not chatting to you. Should I tell you you're when I did the most? Dress. Should I tell you when it's I did the most? Me and Junior went to a rave, yeah, in a warehouse that was bring your own drink, yeah, <laughs> and the way these birds was moving. There was sand on the floor inside this place. This time, and we was like, bruv, it's not even a bar. It's bring your own drink. Why are they moving nuts like this, bruv? You could have paid to... You drink Echo Falls. What are you doing, bro? Six pound a bottle and that. Let's get back to it. Under the bridge, what are you doing? Homeless. I'm bringing her in. If I've been doing her six weeks, I'll probably like her now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm bringing her in. I would like to say I'm going to do the dash. But I will not do the dash. I don't know, actually, because you know what it is? I feel like it don't really fit into my my life to bring her in, but I'd like to think I'd bring her in. But I'd, obviously, I'd, no. To be fair, even if I even if I didn't keep her as my girl, I'd probably bring her in for a bit and be like, right, like. Do you have a shed yeah, in yeah. your garden? I'm thinking, do I have a shed in my garden? But then I live at home with my mum, so I can't really bring this stank homeless bitch in my house. You said she's Just not stank in dumb bed, bro. Yeah, you said she ain't no, stank. But I asked that. That's when the she meets me, she's not. But like on a regular day to day. And then I want, and then I, because I found out you're homeless, I've got bare questions. Like, what have you been doing with yourself? Yeah, where are you brushing what you, your teeth? What do you do Monday to Tuesday? <laughs> you know what? Like, what are you doing? Thought, like, you can live in a whip or something. If you've got a gym membership, you can live in your no, whip. No, don't change it. She lives under a bridge. Yeah. And brush she lives under a bridge like a troll. That's the question. I said a gym membership, like they've got money for living on the river bridge. Yeah, and then you can make that a month. And then you can have a shower and that. Yeah, you can. But you forgetting these people that are, you know, the people that. Have you seen the like, I don't know if they're remaining or not, but they're all shaking at the lights and that. Yeah, the yeah. Cups the bottles, yeah. You know, you're on that like, 150 a day, isn't it? Yeah, no, good peas, bro. I'll be there Monday. I'll be honest, I think, I think my raid of terror at work is uh, finished. There was a video of them where they were about doing all the fake ones or watch them, I think it was. Yeah, they're following them around. They were catching so them, they, yeah. they don't even shake in that, so they'll go right. around the corner and get picked up. I'm going to read it in. Mad. I'm going to say, I don't pay for a hotel. That's Most ridiculous. Months. I don't pay for a in hotel. In London, hotels are one pity, man. I said, that hostel. But look, I do that. Yeah, I put you in a position to get yourself so in Back somewhere, yeah. on your feet. You know what's and then I see point? if you're missing dependent or not. You know what's another good point, bro? Anyone see the um, crept thing? About crept thing's bird, nursery feed. You're just oh. making it about something else again. No, I'm saying it's that same, same situation. It's about getting a point to get on her feet. No, it's not the same because they're both millionaires and this bitch is homeless. No, she's not a millionaire. Bitch. But this, she put up on her Insta, yeah, about 
oh, nursery peas are so expensive. Me and Crypto half on nursery peas, yeah? Everyone's getting involved. Why are you going half of a millionaire? He's a millionaire. You're not a millionaire. You, you know what half. Fred? In my life and what I've got going on, I've learned this podcast. I haven't got enough time to care who the fuck pays for Crips Kids Nursery. No, but when you see it and people are I don't up, care. Look at that. Things that, things that do Also, I haven't got the brain capacity to have that floating around in my head. No, for, for me, I could never comment on it. But there's people commenting online saying, how are you letting a millionaire go past you? He should for be paying it's annoying feet. because he should be they're, the, they're, they're the same people up. that are screaming equality for women, bro. Yeah. But he put, he put up as... Just because he's a millionaire, don't This is an anti-women. Yeah, yeah. He just chopped yeah, yeah. the episode. No, no I'm not, I don't true, care. That's true, though. I get his point. It's but he put... He put that's what you said so about you, putting her on her feet. He put her on her feet. He made her the influencer she is. She's earning the bread off the being an influencer now. She's earning better than your job money. So what? He's earning five bags a month. So what, is she a good person? She's a good person, that's it. No, what I'm saying, people shouldn't be saying that he should be paying the fees because he's a millionaire. Because he's put in a position, like you said about putting the homeless person in a position to be able to do something. I had a girl lie before and tell my brother that I was paying for her to get her lips done. Right? And I told her, you're gone. Don't lie on me. You, I don't believe it's a lie, though. You don't believe it's a lie? I feel like you would do that. I swear on everything I love. <laughs> I swear on everything I love, that was a lie. And when I heard that, I said, you know what, you're done. Don't talk to me no more. Get out of here. Don't lie on me. If you would have asked, I probably would have paid. So let alone a homeless bitch, because I'm that. I'm doing the shelter. What are you doing? I'm the shelter as well. Bring her in. What if she st- for a little bit, what she steals? If she takes your shit that you put at home, you, you well, you're gonna I'll just right hold the L, fam. You Fuck live, it. I'll you bring you it. You have to be a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You so you think you're gonna hold the L and then come on this podcast next week? I'm bringing it up. No, you can. I thought like like no, in, in a I way, like no, no. I, I don't. I I ain't taking the L. She's taking the L because she's just gonna be back on underneath the bridge, bro. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying very true. So it for personally me, yeah, I'm bringing her in definitely. Then I got a like hundred bags on my. So what are you doing? You bring her in. Yeah, I'm bringing her in. Oh shit! If yeah. you was homeless and you could pick anywhere on planet Earth to be, no disrespect to homeless people, but if you could pick anywhere on Earth to be homeless at, where would you pick? To be homeless at not London because we're mad disrespectful to homeless people. Never London, never ever London. I thought like Australia or something. And let me tell you something about being homeless as well. None of us are as far off from being homeless as what we think we are. Three paychecks away. We're not that far off. I'm about twenty minutes away from it. <laughs> 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 Wait, three three paychecks away from the homeless. They reckon the average the average person in England yeah. is only three months wages from being away homeless. From no, not everyone can save. When you look at the house price in, that, in England, that's crazy. Well, have you seen that breakdown? That done I don't like how England treats homeless people. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, but crazy. then, but then, in London, I, I, there's one outside the station I've got work with, and he's got this way about him. He thinks he's sick. Remember that one coughed in your face? Remember that? <laughs> he coughed in John's face. Imagine we've walked out two more steps. I had to catch him. I looked at John. He, you know what? He just lost it. He started darting back. You know what it is? You see what I said to you about uh, Dan when someone does a violation yeah, and, you and, think, then, and then you think <laughs> hold on a minute he's violating I me I go back and I said yo did you just cough in my face? <laughs> he, went, he went no what? Oh, I said oh, shit I didn't come back with attitude. I said what do you mean bro? What are you talking about bro? <laughs> his attitude was bad Bro he come outside and he was kind of like what? what? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, you know what home, home, bro what place? Like, go on what are you saying? I would be on a beach somewhere that I could maybe do drugs and I'll say Dubai, bro. Fuck it. No, you can't do that. Well, do what? Illegal. What? You can't be homeless in Dubai. I don't think so. You'd be sucking off dogs in two days. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you two days. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it, though. Dan, you're as very money oriented. As a homeless person, you know. <laughs> as a homeless person who's got, if you got nothing, no friends, you're away from your family. You've got, got no way of getting no peace to you. Dubai is your best bet, bro. Who said, who, said, who, to beg in the who said Australia? That's yeah, right. Australia, yeah. I'm starting to fit a beach warm so that it's not cold. Like, no, it is. People, a lot of people just live outside. This is a the, very disrespectful question to homeless people. Yeah, this is mad. It is mad. Because he only in London when he said, fuck London. <laughs> you know what? I hope this doesn't, I hope this ages well, Hunter. You know the ones where it don't age well? One of us. Yeah, so, one of us are homeless. You know what I like? It's coming out on Twitter two years later. I'm going to be putting the man up in there if he's putting his fingers on for six weeks. I'll be real well. We're all right. We're all right. We don't get cosigns of people anyway. We're sweet, bro. You know what I like what this country is doing, yeah? If there's nothing against Ukraine, what's going on? But I like how they're bringing all these people in into this country. Are you about to be racist? No, no, listen, listen. I've got nothing against them. It's sad what's happening in the country. But we've got all these homeless people that have got nothing. 
like soldiers that have fought in the war. So we have funds, but it just depends on what we you... got funds. But they're offering like three hundred pounds for each family that people uh, see that as well. That's bullshit, in. bro. It's that ain't even cost. That ain't even coming a bit of rent. There's bro. no way that old geezers, yeah, and old women, yeah, they're in their eighties, are thinking about how they're gonna pay for their gas. There's no way that should be happening. Yeah, we'll talk Everywhere no, it's like, there, bro. Not over here, and we're and we're. That's even a privileged thing to say that we're all saying that shouldn't happen here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. that should not be happening. Well, like, no, like, she jumps on the bus, but the one Boris Johnson. She says jumps on the bus the whole day, comes home, have one meal. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I see that. She says you don't use electricity. That. That's like that. mad. That electricity was seventeen mad. pound a month. It went up to. Right, I'm gonna play devil. Month, right? I'm gonna play devil advocate here with the old benefits thing as well. Don't have kids you can't afford. Yeah, Facts. 100%. Facts. I, I agree with that. I'm not going to lie. Bro. I think people should the I have right should now, personally put a cap on I, people. I have I right now, part. if I had a kid, I wouldn't be coming to the pub as much. Right? I, I don't want one. Right? Yeah, want <laughs> right? <laughs> also, I think that anyone who has a kid, I think this should be the law. That you should have to do a test to see if you are eligible to be yeah, a to, parent. To have, to be a parent. Yeah, but then if they're not, what are they going to do? You cut their nuts off. No, yeah. but I mean... I feel like they should get an injection and you come back and be like, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 because you're a junkie, because you're a junkie and you can't close your legs, don't mean that I should pay for your fucking kids, bro. No, 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 it's, that's fact, I agree with that, bro. To be honest, I personally think, if you, you, like, you see, let's bring it to Jeremy Cole, for example, you know the man that go on Jeremy Cole and the women, like, they're all a certain type of people, innit? So, them people Tramps. there, they're, <laughs> them people there, are the ones that are fucked our economy up, bro. But then, no, 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 that's why I'm going to stop you. We can all get down on our luck. It can happen tomorrow. Of course it can, bro. If I lost... When you're happy with it, though. But this is the difference. This is the difference with us. If you get down on your luck, you're not just fucking about having kids. Because I hold country. That's what I'm saying, like... I country. If you're down on your luck, common sense means... You ain't going to think, let me have another kid to get some more Yeah, this is where the country's fucked it, bro. They're like, if you're down on your luck, just go get a couple more youths and you get put up in a flat and a flat TV, bro. And it doesn't make sense. But do you know what it is, yeah, OG? Do you know what it is, OG? Do you know what it is, OG? One's 25 quid a week and the other one's like 35 quid a week. Do you know what it is, OG? It's not, it's, not about, it's not about you being like a refugee or coming from everywhere because all of our families come from somewhere originally, yeah? yeah? yeah. Right? It's about being a member of the society that you come to and trying to better yourself. Bro. Yeah, yeah. And no matter what it is, what you do, your family come here to try to better you. You're here now, bro, yeah. because of the back of, of what your mum and dad done or whatever. You're here, I we, wherever, yeah? But you have to be a part, want to be a part. If you come here and go, this is getting very EDL. If you come here and go, I'm just going to lay on my back now and just knock them out, bro. Sometimes I think I'm doing it wrong. Have Sometimes I think I should just quit my job and just have four kids. Have you seen that man coming over on a boat? <laughs> seen that man called coming over on a boat with their Why is it too late for me to do that? Because they don't support two kids now. They don't support multiple children. What about if I have two kids with numerous women? Oh, that's a good fucking question. No, no. I honestly see thought... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, Daniel, one sec. I honestly thought that the only reason people have kids now is to get a flat. I thought that's why we've done it. Yeah, I thought that's why we done it. A lot of yeah, people do that. Though, a lot of people works. from our generation at school. We're not there was that. girls in our year <laughs> that was telling us they was gonna have kids to get a flat, right? Right. Me and Daniel both live at home with our mums, yeah, right. And we both worked our bollocks off from sixteen years old, right. So we saying I should have just not pulled out on every fat floor ever. Is that what we were saying? Yeah, you could be living in a flat. And then you don't put your name down. I would have had a fat in pants. I, I definitely agree with the whole thing. Yeah, with if you don't have kids if, if you can't afford it, man. I feel 100%. I feel the government should should um, put a law in, as in to say but, like this date forward, anyone having youths now, we ain't supporting you. Because then people will need to start thinking about no, having you. No, 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 no. How's no, 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 it wrong, bro? Dan, if you I lost your listen, job... Dan, Dan, if, if you lost, uh, Dan, if I you get, lost your... I get the avenue you man are going to go Dan, down, but Dan, sometimes Dan, it is where it Dan, is, Dan, you're man. lucky, yeah? You're lucky in a way, yeah, that you have a support system. That If you lost a, your job and didn't have one for a year, if your family or us, man, that we would help you. If There's people that don't have any of I hear that. They don't have a kid. And no, but it can happen to any of us at any time. I know, I know that, bro. I know that, but... The type of people we're actually I, I honestly, targeting and talking about I, here, I honestly feel I'm like, not thinking like they're not being hard done by and, and it's accidentally happened. I'm not gonna lie, they're, they're using, they're having sex unprotected. I honestly felt like that I should have never worked and just sold Cali and just fucked every fat <laughs> bird I ever <laughs> see. That's what I thought I should have done, bro. All right, cool. You rob a bank. This is realistic now. No, don't take it to a place that's not realistic. Yeah, you rob a bank. 
you get 10 million, yeah? How long can you realistically and how long are you going to stay on the run? For Three months of my life. Where, where are you going? I've got money. I'm, off, really? off, yeah, yeah. I'm going into like some milk. country like Thailand or something. Yeah, it goes somewhere it's cheap and, and it's good life. Never, and no. you can live for the yeah. rest of your days. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can have about 30 years so <laughs> I can bring all them up as well. <laughs> no, no. no Fred... Up? You're going straight to Palm Angels. The old builder's going to turn up at Palm Angels and nick you straight. I'll be away. honest. See, if I if I hit a lick and I've got ten mil, designer everything is done. I'm not doing it. Yeah, ever. yeah. I want to go somewhere where I've got enough what money. Are you saying you do design in there when you just walk, work a normal job? But if you had ten mil, you wouldn't do no, it. If I if I lick ten mil and I have to get away, yeah. I don't care about design. I don't want to look the part. I just want to be. I'll be in my so little what, Hawaii right, shirt so, on so, a beach somewhere. So the what if poster comes out of you? What is your first move? Mine is plastic surgery. Obviously. Oh, that's a bit hectic, though. No. My first move is to just get out of the country. Instantly. What country did you go to? As I'm saying, like somewhere like Thailand or something. Yeah. Thailand, I'll, be, I'll be out of one of them. Th- th- I'll go to Thailand countries. and then you know them little... You know them why little he's things a fuck yeah. things about <laughs> going to the little off now, but... Do you know why he's a fuck in Thailand? Do you know why he's a fuck in Thailand? First one, you're a white man, so you're going to stick out straight away. No way, yeah. not in Thailand, bro. Do you know how many men live in Thailand? Yeah. You're like yeah. a seven yeah. foot yeah. black geezer yeah. in Thailand. You're sticking out. I'll be honest. Right? No, right? Straight away. You know Gold teeth. Right, You're sticking out. I'm bro. I might bleach, bro. Nah, you're me. I might bleach. That is smart. Oh. You'll never know it's me. I'll that blo- I'll take my whole that's, hair off. I'll go bald. The one that ever. And you're yeah, getting on a run. So do you never? So do you never? Talk- I'm trying to not be seen again. I'm so do you never talk? Your, did you ever talk to your family again? Because they're gonna be on your family waiting for you to give that bird call. You know, I have to works. bring someone else and say, "Yeah." Chat you know, it works. Yeah, so like they you, can't get you. Listen, you got to understand. If you're trying to make that ten million, you, you got to know the you got to know the the consequences to do that, bro. I don't feel like that on your family. Oh, you know what I'm going? No, no, they will be. They're, they're going to be on because they're going to think that someone that in that family knows what's happened and know. I heard though, if you do a lick like that and stash the peas and get caught, do your time and come out, you can take that money. Yeah, you can. That money's yours because you've done your yeah. time. Yeah. There's also another law that the amount of time you spend on the run, you will do as well. Yeah. So if you're on the run for Ooh. five years and the lick's going to take you five years, you're going to do ten years. I heard that wipes after a while. Though. No, there is no, there is no statute limit. We don't do statute limitations in England. I'll be honest though, if I lick 10 mil, I'm just going out somewhere like Thailand, Bali. Well, somewhere I'm out. going I straight to Somalia. I can live where it's cheap. See, now that is the most realistic shit I'm as anyone said. <laughs> right? no, but you're going to no, get no, a Somalia. Somalia. No, you're going to get an 7 to your face. You Fuck, think you're I'm blending with everyone. Now. I'll blend in with everyone. Well, if you think you're no Somali, man, you guys are Somali here. Look, look, look. You don't know what's going on no more. You're past that. You're westernized. The only thing though is, though. Westernized. <laughs> yeah, when you go there, when yeah, you go, when you go there, when you go to back to Somalia, yeah, do they know like you're, you're like basically like English Dutch? Right. Do they know? Let me say this. Come on, man, bro. They just look at your past. You just go through, bro. No, let me no, say this. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying the people. Look at the people. No, no, no. If I just dress normal, as soon as you say me, you go there and speak, and they'll just be like, "Yeah, this guy's from here." Oh, no, I speak my own language. No, but they'll be like, "This guy's from here." So do I. They know you. Copy rhyme and slang. They know you as well. You're absolutely look at it though. See all these, all these Niger dons and Aftons and that, yeah, who are made a millionaires. They don't go back to their block and just think, oh, "I'm just gonna chill on my block." They go back with a mad security team and that. All these men driving through Nigeria. What's that guy? Bosh, they tie, they tie you out quick time, out Yeah, there, they're man. nice. You, they got. See, even Mali as well. They, they want that peace, bro. Bali and that, their laws are mad strict. You can't do such shit there. You yeah, can't you start getting like your hands that. chopped yeah, off you can't over people there, man. In Somalia, them man will lick you down quick for that piece, but they're taking that bread. These men are out on the ships every day trying to lick ships every yeah, day. Yeah, then you watch Captain you. Phillips, bro. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, cool. So, <laughs> like, this bread you. so like I said, you've hit the lick, you're still in England, your wanted poster comes out, what is your first move? I'm getting a plane somewhere where I can transport across water easily to Bali or Thailand. Oh, but the problem yeah. is, See somewhere where you can get on them. See them uh, little flat. But do you know what it is yeah, for me? Yeah, yeah, see yeah, them yeah. little ones that land on water. Oh, the police yeah, yeah. definitely are going to work with each other. There's not places they can't work Do you know what it is for me? What's the point of me having 10 more if I can't do it with all you, man, and my little brother? And what's the point of doing a lick then? Exactly. But that's the question. Don't change the question. But I'll, do you know what? I don't know. I feel, I feel like once I get caught and it comes to that situation, <laughs> oh, wait, at, wait, first, wait. at first they might be like, yeah, we're going to live a mad movie. When it comes to the point that now nah, my face in the papers and that I'm wanted, I've just got to live my movie now. So yeah, man, then, but it's my Oh, time. let me put it this way. <laughs> Your face ain't the paper, mine is. It's a very lonely movie. You can do this. I'll find if, some things in This is what you can do. You can roll back to find the family and Find some you just got to pull out a score note. <laughs> I'll just put it on your family. Like, look, I've done this. I've got this exit, man. I need to go. If you're coming with me, come with me. If not, yeah. just stay here. Now, this I know <laughs> you know it. nothing about anything about that life. Because what? if you think you're going to be able to ring your family when there's a wanted post... No, it's only your local family. Like, no, just... Time. 
Just your first time. Probably you're better off sending a fucking pigeon with a note. So the first time you do that, lick, if you do a lick, right? Go on. The first thing they're doing is they're going to isolate your family. You're going nowhere near them. The second but you how make, long until they know that that lick's been done? No, th- I'm saying as soon as you've done it, you're bait face. All right, right? Cool. All right. As soon as you've done it, as, as soon as you've done it, your family, if you go near them or talk to them, you're fucked. You're going to get caught. Oh, come on. So what's the point? It depends of doing... how the lick goes, though. You know what I mean? If the lick goes, I've got the money, but someone tried to grab me when I'm running out the bank, and now my face has come out. As soon as I get away from there, I'm ringing. Let's do you want to come now? Yes or no? That's it. Done. Well, I got a different. I got a different view of it. My whole thing is I go and bury the money and I hand myself in. Fuck that, man. I do seven years. Could Fuck you it. trust someone with the money? Could give it to no chance. Well, I couldn't trust you. Come out. The money's all mouldy and shit. Hold on. Well, I've been by the rats. That's a risk. I've got slugs and that. Something gets dug up. You start looking on. Go on. You're in the ten mil. So I go to yourself watching the news. And and then time. You say you done it with the old notes and that, and they change it. You can't. After a certain amount of years, you can't go back to the bank and change it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Why do you think they do new notes? They do it because of that. Yeah. They flush man out. And got all, all under their bed, they've got all these amounts of peas and that. They, they, they make man have to Imagine pay. This though, yeah, That's John. why they do it. John, you do this, yeah? How quick does the, the stuff go up around this area here? So you go and bury your peas, yeah? You're sitting in your cell watching a bit of news. Bro, I oh, smoke... new building development. This is where your peas are buried. Now they've got the diggers out. <laughs> digging up the digging <laughs> peas. <laughs> you're sitting there, you're stressed. <laughs> oh, I've only got two weeks. That's why I come out. My peas are gone, though. That's stress, bro. Fuck that. That's Try to get away with it while you can. Yeah, get away with it while you can. Don't start trying to delay stuff. But I got I got another one. This is gonna divide the room here. It is zombie apocalypse, Hunger Game survival shit. G, you're involved in this as well. Hunger Game survival shit. You have to pick one person in this room that you would team up with to survive with. Who would you pick and why? I'm gonna do it straight away. The way I try to do it in my head when I can't with a question is, who wouldn't it be? And it wouldn't be Daniel. It would, reckon, you wouldn't pick me. No, I reckon you'd be you'd that guy. Me up, be, he's the guy. Oh, you need medicine. You'd be nicking that, stuff, and I'll be honest. You'd be nicking that. No, I reckon. I reckon, like, I reckon if like we got caught in a corner, he pushed me to him and run off, mm. kind of thing. Yeah. That's mad. And then my second thing was, I can't be with Bosch because Bosch runs marathons, and he's gonna see. <laughs> he's gonna no, but he's gonna see me as I'm gonna hold him yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking he's not really gonna be like trying to roll with me. I hear that. Right, right. So Fred, he'd just be like, can we just go Dior? So I'd be like, no, all right? <laughs> so, so my whole thing is, I will come with you. I appreciate that. That's the man. You no, know why? Because I'd push you to them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you got to think? You know what you got to think? G's probably sitting there balling fifths. We've got to be careful today. We're going, going to get with you. He's trying to plan out your whole what G, you're doing. Just, just G is the it. most smartest dumb person I know. <laughs> right? I'm not, but so realistically, so if there's an apocalypse, you have to pick one person to survive with, right? You, athletically, you run marathons and shit. You're not going to want me hanging about with you. You're going to leave me. You are just a snake. <laughs> so you're not going to want me to roll you. You. That's so mad. That I don't know. You, of me, bro. You're, the way you come up with things, your, your train of thinking is sometimes mental. So I'm thinking the most logical person who also that I could feed to the lions is G if I needed to. So who are you picking in this room? I'm hoping someone picks me. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> it's so mad because it's, it's a survival thing. So it's a bit like... And we all know each other properly. So who would you pick? You've got to think like... The person the person that you don't want is... Like, the I'm person, loyal. The per- <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You've got to be careful because... it come, like If I'm with Fred, Fred's a big boy. And he needs to eat a lot on that day. So, you know, if you were all with me, if we're going, we're going together. Fuck it. Dan, I'm telling you now, if we had, a, if we was living in that sort of situation, and we was like, yeah, listen, we're going to have two of these, two of these a day, two of these a day, you would sneak one out on a slide. 100%. You would you, sneak one out on a slide. Like he'd use, <laughs> you'd be overeating. Uh, Fred, like, he'd use, like, he's he's two floss and you're yeah, one as yeah. well. He'd so, like, <laughs> be like, oh, look at that one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, that sneaky That's little fucker. So, Dan, that sneaky little so Dan on the top of it, who are you picking out of all of us to, to roll with two men up in this uh, Hunger Games type shit? I'm not going to lie. I've, I've, I, it's not you because you've just said, no way he's just said. It's not because he's not said me. It's because he said, fuck it. If we're both, if, we're, if I'm going, you're going. I'm not on that. No, no, I, no, said, no I said. I said no. Part. I said if we're going, we're going together. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm not on that. <laughs> if, you, if that's your attitude, so bro, bas- bro, oh, you bro. give up in it. You give up. I'm gonna so basically, going, so basically, you're not loyal. No, it's not like that, bro. But when it comes to Fred, hold on, Fred. How many times have we been in situations, me and you specifically, yeah? And I've gone, 
Fuck it. If we get beat up, we get beat up. Have I said that to you before? Bruv, let if me, we get beat up, we get beat up together. You see the difference? You see the difference? Let me, I can get beat up with you. No problem, bro. I'm not, I don't want to die. I'm not trying to <laughs> die with somebody. Uh, that's, and when, when I can avoid it, you know them ones? So who are you picking? I think I might pick Bosch, you know? Why? I'll pick Bosch because I just feel like he's, he's quick with me, so he'll be quick out there. And he's I one of them. Like, I feel like you're, you're manipulative and you can use him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. And, 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 and if I need to, I'll just dash him out there and I'll be gone, bruv, from a situation. That's bad. But it is what it is, man. You man are talking Brent. about it's bad. But if that happened in real life, you man will move savage. I honestly think anyone that don't pick G is an idiot. I feel like G's, I feel like G's not eating a lot. He's not, he's not too he's much. He's low maintenance. Yeah, he's low maintenance. Low maintenance. So you see that though? You see that? You might have picked G because he's low maintenance. That's oh, bare that selfish, up, bro. Yeah. But the thing that's is, the no, same, that's the same level as me, bro. Do you know why it's not selfish? Because I feel like I have more to offer the situation than he does. Yeah, it's true. It, it, all he has is... A, all, he has, all he has is a proper brain in his head. Oh, my. F- <laughs> physically, <laughs> physically, he's a 13-year-old transsexual. <laughs> But uh, otherwise, mid up. Otherwise than that, he hasn't got much to offer, and he drives, and he's got good savings. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got good savings. G's gonna be like, bro, I've got like sixty bags. You got thirty quid? What's going on? Here? <laughs> on who would you pick and why? I think G, man. Low maintenance and that man. I don't get that. Bro. Are you saying it though because you could also push him to the floor? 100%, uh, bro. 100%. Because I'm not allowed lie. to. Say it with your channel. You might as I'm well, not allowed bro. to. G. Survival of the fittest, I, I chose G. I wouldn't do it to but if it was absolutely in this room, back against the wall, I'm going to feed you to him. Yeah, but I'm just thinking, what's the situation where you have to... The thing is, the the games the thing is this ain't like we're scrapping people. If we're scrapping people, it's I want to go back to back with one of the man and be like, yeah, we're both going to swing. Do you know what situation it'll be, It's like COD. Do you know what it'll be? It'll be like... So you've been chased, yeah. There's one wall we can we can get over this. I say, G, lift me up. We're not going down. So, they're up. so close. Only one's gonna make it over this wall. And I'll tell you what. Now nah, in this room, I'm making it over that wall, bro. Out of anybody in this room, bro. I'll tell you that now. Nah, when it also, comes to... he's the most responsible person ever. Yeah, that's true. And G, G, lift me up and I'll pull you up. I feel like G will look after. We'll I feel like I feel like it'll be the end of the world, and we'll wake up in the morning. And G, will like, have you brushed your teeth today? <laughs> and, and I feel like <laughs> G's had the most laugh here so far. So G is basically he's basically G's up. basically going to be like a housewife when we go on a run. Right? So you picking G? Yeah, yeah. I'm very interested to see who you're going to pick. I'm picking you. Oh, fuck you, Neil. Well, what? I, I can use you so easy. It is mental. And you. I want to hear this. Let's go. Because I'll snap your neck in two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> listen, I know he can't run. The way he said I, he knows I can run for a long time. You men have looked at it so selfish. So, so, what, so what have you, you done? No, no, you've done the same thing. You man have picked G because we the same thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I picked the man that other than his brain, he's got the he's a 13 year old woman. Yeah, girl. but you know he that he hasn't, hasn't got come much. It. So he hasn't physically. He has nothing to offer me, like to back me, like 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 that. Like. But that's but the I thing. Because you're going to no, dash no. him out there. No, 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 yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Gone, no, I didn't say that. Yeah. I, did, I said if we needed to, yeah. because if I was with, if I picked Fred, me and Fred have been in situations where I've gone to Fred. Yo, we going out together. We've been in real life situations, and I said, come, let's go. Right, we've both been beat up or something. Right, or oh, I've been beat up more than Fred. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah? Right, but but like, so me picking him is not is not taking a piss because he hasn't got nothing to offer other than his like responsible brain. Yeah, but it's still it's still like because if if push comes to shove and it it needed to be, you're with him because he's going first. I won't be surprised if this happened. If G said to me, "I'm not gonna lie to you. Lucky you picked me because I've got an underground bunker." <laughs> <laughs> like we, so he took me down there, and there's just bare like IT nerds down there, like uh, what? yeah, yeah, Wi-Fi and that. Like, oh. Oh, shit. So you pick me, why? Because you just think you could take the piss. I'll bat you. Are you gonna bat me? I'm gone. So what's the point? Are you just gonna run off? From, you're gonna pick me and just run off from me? <laughs> just keep running. So basically, you pick me and you're just on your own because you're just gonna run off. <laughs> If we're in the same with what, what so Daniel said, mate, if we're in a situation where one person no, but we're down, running across the world, we're getting through it. But if we get backed up, like yo, they're gonna eat our spleens and shit. Yeah, you're gonna just leave me. 
Oh, how else do you want to save you? If we get in a fight tonight, like, I'm going to leave the you. The way I said, <laughs> you're going to keep me behind. And that's why I said I wouldn't pick you because I feel like athletically, I might, I might let you down. G, who are you picking? I it's think. a tough decision, you know. It comes down to you have to think about you know everyone and what have they got to offer. I've got, I've got the highest skill set. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. See if I was going to sell myself. It's between Fred and John. I feel like I've got the highest skill set for living in that. Yeah. How? I feel like because he's going for fighting. Skills. No, I feel like if I was living in say, say I'm living in Australia on a beach here, yeah, I'm um, what's the word? So I've been abandoned or something like that. I feel like I can live on for a long time. See that we're, guy? What's his name? We're talking Hunger Games, oh, East London. Oh, that guy? What's his name, man? Bear Grylls. I feel like I've got a lot of that like, survival skills I could use good on there. So have I. I feel like you ain't. If you, if you roll with me, just because we threw that out of a tin. Yo, just because we threw that out of a tin. If you roll with me, you know that I'm going to say, we're going in the shop. You ain't catching no fish in the sea. No, but we're sticking up. <laughs> no, I'm we're, not, we're not in the Pacific. <laughs> we're in Tire Hamlets. We're sticking up shops for biryanis and them <laughs> weird sandwiches and that, bruv. Rustlers. Yeah. Oh, shit. So how uh, me and Fred are you picking? Yeah. You ain't eating rustlers, are you? Nah, I ain't eating rustlers, man. At least... Look. G, it's the end of the world. You can't still be vegan. <laughs> yeah, you can't pick and choose, man, man. Yeah, we, can't get lentils. we can't be getting lentils on that. G's like, I can't roll with you. We can't you, eat We go to a shop and start picking up lentils and shit. I'm going to say, no, no, no. We got to populate the world afterwards. Not with each other, you dirty... <laughs> 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 what, what, what the fuck got? is... I'm going to say, if I was meeting first with Fred, then I would be John. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Actually, you're wrong there. Because if it was the end of the world, it would be a lot of fat birds left. Because they'd be out in the street. No, they ain't got no feed, bro. They'd be out in the dead. street. If you had 10 tens of fat birds, you'd tell the fat birds, get out of there. Them, them, <laughs> them, them other bitches, though, they're out here, they're running weekly. They're, they're like boss, they're athletic. They're trying to keep their body tight. Yeah, but they, <laughs> they, they, but them type of birds let people shit on them and they suck off as Alsatians, so they're going to be safe. <laughs> They're gonna be yeah, locked. Some guys got them in a Yeah, they're gonna be locked up in. Bro, they're, yeah, they're gonna be locked up in compounds. The fat things gonna be on the street like stray dogs. Like you've took it somewhere. Pick out of me and Fred. Yeah, I'll go Fred. Seriously? Yeah, I'll go Fred. Don't be jealous. You've had one pick. Come on, settle down, man. I got one pick because man said I can leave. <laughs> oh, it's a positive pick at least. Who did Daniel pick? I picked yeah. Bosch. Oh yeah, and so Bosch. Do electrics as well. But there's no because electric you're coming right, out. Man. What do you need electric for? If I wire something up, you'll be dealing with you'll be right. working shit, I'll be honest. Do you know what? You know what that's so low? Because I didn't look at you and say like you can do Wi Fi. I didn't look at that. I didn't Me say and that. you'll be moving like what's that Will Smith film where he's there isolated? Um the Le- I'm legend is yeah, yeah. I'm legend, yeah. yeah. Oh, you'll be there building shit. I would like I would like here like to turn around and go, you know what, fuck you, I'm picking someone else, but I don't trust him like that. I still take I mean if it was I mean, either, but... in them situations, I'm surviving, isn't it? Like it is what it is. Like if you could pick someone, and people might not know who it is, if you could pick someone who was out of this room, who would you pick? I would just Elon say. Musk. I'm not saying a celebrity. Oh. You don't know Elon Musk. <laughs> if I could pick someone, but I know. I wouldn't pick my brother. I know that for a fact. I know. I know. Probably would pick. I definitely won't pick my brother. No chance. Who? I could. I could just keep my way. You won't be waking up, but. Talk about yeah, you're probably waking up at 12 in the afternoon. Someone's <laughs> eating his arm. <laughs> He's like, I just did a night shift, mate. Leave it out, brother, whatever. Oh, I'll pick Junior. He's a, He's a good shout, still. He's yeah. a good shout. I reckon if you I... know what? Yeah, I think JR. I reckon, JR. I reckon Junior, I shout, yeah, JR. Do, do you know why shout. I pick him? Do you know why I pick him? Because I reckon I could wake up two zombies that let my legs and he put me on my put me on his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that vomit. That guy's a machine, man. <laughs> He's a machine. Bro. Yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. But he's always tired, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my knee. That's my knee, sir. Oh, my and knee. do you know what? It might be um, uh, Fizz, you know. <laughs> I'd leave you for dead. Yeah, it'd leave me for that. Do you know what though? It'll get it have to we'll have to be in a proper, proper you know sticky what? situation. Do you know what, G? I think you should pick me instead of Fred. Do you know why? Bro, just leave it alone. It's done. The you know why? Made, bro. Because I feel like if you and Fred was on the road doing it and Fred see like a bird with a fat ass, he'd leave you banging nah, it for nah, a yeah. oh, shit. Nah, man. Whereas me, I'd have four fat birds for all of us. <laughs> pace yourself. Oh, right. Pace yourself. <laughs> That's it. You've had a lot. We're done. We're wrapping up. There you go. Stick that in. Stick that in your edits as well, you little prick. Because you've had a month <laughs> off. You've had a month off, yeah? Everyone who thinks that we... Where, where have you been? You ain't recorded for a month. 
G turned yeah, 40. So he had to take six weeks <laughs> off. Yeah? So we're done. We'll see you in a bit. That's again, always as. half right. As You've had enough of me. <laughs> hey, listen, I've got, two, I've got two drunk now. We've had a 10 minute break. I've got some fresh air. It's over. <laughs>